Hey, it's Erin at Readwise. Come along with me for an inside look at our recent offsite. For our sixth offsite, the team voted to head to Western Norway, where we stayed at Juvet Landscape Hotel. This is where Ex Machina and Succession Season 4 were filmed, and honestly, it was one of our most epic offsites yet. A couple of my teammates and I wanted to check out Oslo first, so we linked up a few days earlier to hang out in Norway's capital. I took the red eye from New York City to Zurich, picked up some Swiss chocolate during my layover, landed in Guatemala by noon, then took the high-speed train to City Center. My American mind cannot comprehend such nice public infrastructure. We had less than 48 hours in Oslo, but we really made the most of it. We got the legendary Kenobula from WB Samson, Angie and Kayla got tattoos, I got a spontaneous piercing, and some other team members checked out the sculptures at Vigeland Park. Then we headed for some street food at Peace Call, Tadek had a cigarette, and we all went and grabbed some drinks at this fantastic bar called Him Cook. After that, Bruno and Artem found their new favorite nightclub, and the rest of us went and got some authentic Norwegian fast food. The next morning, we all jumped on the train back to the airport and took a short flight up to Olesund, where we met up with the rest of the team and drove the two and a half hours hours to Juvet. This hotel was insane. In true Waystar fashion, we rented out the entire venue and we each got our own private cabins, except for the boys who insisted on bunking together. Each cabin had these incredible floor to ceiling windows and I hate to admit it, but I kind of enjoyed living like Kendall Roy for the weekends. After unpacking, we headed to the Riverside Spa for some important business negotiations. From there, we went up to the main barn for this incredible five course tasting menu and then we ended the evening with a couple rounds of our favorite games. Day two was our big excursion day, so we had a quick breakfast and then drove to a town whose name I'm definitely gonna mess up if I try and pronounce it for a fjord boat tour. Norway in April is freezing so I was grateful our tour guide hooked us up with some heavy duty fits. Our tour guide not only showed us some beautiful sights but also gave us a lot of history on how Norway has changed over the last 50 years. After our fjord tour we stopped for a quick lunch then split up for our next activity. Some of our team members opted for a snowshoe hike while the rest of us slipped into some wetsuits and went kayaking. One of the things I appreciate about this company is how transparent our founders are uh, if it is to be said, so it be, so it is. With the direction of the business, our finances, and their thinking behind their decisions. Day three was our company hackathon, where we get to hack on experimental new features that we otherwise wouldn't have a chance to build. I teamed up with Eleanor to work on Cookwise, a new app dedicated to perfectly parsing recipes. The best part of this day really is the presentations and seeing what people managed to build in less than 24 hours. This year's winners were Angie and Abby, who made these sick OCR bookmarks, Adam, who finally built adjustable highlights, and Rasul, whose hack I can't share right now, but you'll all be using it soon. Day four was our final day together, so we headed to Endal's Nest for some team building activities. From there, we took a gondola up to the top of a mountain where Kendall and Roman Roy famously negotiated with Alexander Skarsgård. After a brief snowball fight, we decided to skip the negotiations and head to lunch where we enjoyed the beautiful view. That evening, after a quick rest, we met up for a final five course tasting menu from Juvet complete with fresh oysters, locally caught bluefin tuna, go-to ways, free-flowing wine, and my first ever taste of whale. I want to give a huge thank you to the team at Juvet, especially Larsh. He went off his way to get to know every single member of our team, made us laugh like crazy, and even managed to source some amazing non-alcoholic options for those of us on the team who don't drink. We of course had to honor the location one last time by taking a final soak in the hot tub, said our goodbyes, and woke up early for our flights home the next day. That's it for this trip. It was an absolute blast, and I can't wait for the next one. Where do you think we should go next?